Okay, Lefty Phillips here again. Installment 2, the YouTube series. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, my inductance coil that is built into uh, this Jelly Belly box. Uh, there's a thread about it on mylespaul.com. And uh, what it does essentially is it interacts with the guitar pickups when it's wired in parallel with the guitar pickups to create a new resonant peak uh, for the pickup assembly. Uh, I was originally using it in my volume pedal. I had specially wired it to allow for the parallel uh, connection with the inductance coil, but uh, I've, I've since uh, taken to using it just at the input of the amp itself because all of these jacks are in parallel to each other and I'm jump ring, so I have one left over and it just seemed like a natural thing to do. If it's the very first thing in your chain, it will interact with your pickups in the same way that it would as if it were a third pickup on the guitar. It loses some of that interactivity when you plug it into the amp because there's all of these uh, devices in between the, the guitar inductors and, and this inductor, but it still maintains the quality of providing a, a new resonant peak to the sum of whatever is going in parallel with it. So here we'll give you a brief listen to the amp itself and its uh, usual configuration. And now I'm going to put the inductance coil in parallel with the guitar circuit and you get this sound. Much quieter. to be able to hear. I don't know how good the YouTube sound is on this, but it has a juicier sound to it even though it's quieter because the resonant peak of the inductance coil is interacting with the resonant peak of the pickups. And as I go through the pickup selections, you'll hear that sound change. This one's particularly interesting because this, this pickup is actually four coils and it has a huge resistance. but. Uh, that's basically what it does. It thins out your sound and gives you a juicier sweet spot. That's it. Good tone. That's what it's all about.